Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am making a quick little update video for you guys. First things first, I did dye my hair back. It's a little bit of a funny story, but basically if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, which you really should because you get a little bit more Karen, a little bit more real life stuff, which I think is a little fun if you care at all. So my Instagram will be linked below. Um, but otherwise, if you didn't know, I was messing with a home balayage kit because I had seen somebody that I love here on YouTube use one and it looked great. And I was like, heck yeah, I don't like to pay a lot of money to get my hair done. So I tried it out and it actually worked really well. The only thing was, I think I went a little too high up. Like I should have just done like here and under with the kit. And so I went really close to my roots and somehow like the one half of my head um, was lighter than the other half and somehow a little patch like over here had like over process So I had a huge like blonde patch in my hair and you couldn't really see it in my videos with the light hair Because it was kind of like under here so I could really like hide it by just like putting this hair on top but I just like felt so odd with the patch and I was like too embarrassed to go to my hairstylist so instead I just bought a box dye. It was actually supposed to be like an indigo color and I thought my hair would pull a little bit of the indigo because it hadn't been lightened but nope it just came out like jet black and I'm not complaining. I like this color. It works well with my skin tone and I was like you know what I'm just gonna learn from this and we're not gonna dye. Uh, my hair any crazy colors anytime soon or if I do it'll be with the trained professional um, the next thing I want to tell you guys about are these cool ass earrings you guys so I found this local boutique in my area but I'm pretty sure they ship um, it's called Olive Street and she's actually really good friends with my best friend and I think from what my friend told me their whole concept is like accessories because she thinks like you know there's so many clothing stores but there's not really one that focuses on accessories which is like right up my alley my whole aesthetic if any of you care is like a t-shirt and like statement earrings I've been on a huge statement earring kick lately I don't know what it is my go-to place for earrings right now is Target a lot of the earrings I wear are from Target because Target has a line with bobble bar it's called sugar fix if you guys didn't know all of this it's good intel. I'm telling you guys, Bobble Mart makes amazing earrings, so I'm so glad they came out with an affordable line at Target, which is my favorite store. And before they collabed with Target, I used to buy stuff from Bobble Bar. I still do every once in a while when it's like a really unique piece, but they tend to be very high priced compared to what you're getting at Target. High price for me because I don't like to spend more than 10 $20 on jewelry um, definitely not more than 20 bucks on earrings so anyway Olive Street came around they're actually located by Costco here in Fargo if any of you live in Fargo and watch my channel and she has the cutest accessories so if you guys remember my headband the pearl one is from there and then the top knot or the knot headbands with the pearls also from there and I actually have the heart sunglasses which are dupes for YSLs from there and then she was doing a spring event and I walked in and I saw these earrings and she actually has them in like pink white tortoise and she had some other marble ones too that I was looking at um, but these were the last ones in this blue color and I was like you know what I don't really have earrings this shade so I'm gonna pick them up and they were like $24 which again like for me is a lot but they're so unique and I've never seen earrings like this before and obviously I'm not gonna find them at Target so had to tell you guys about those and then my big big announcement for May is actually that I'm on a no buy I know it's shocking like cue shock and horror sounds I don't actually know how to do that in editing I don't think I'll figure it out either. But anyway, um, yeah, so I just wanted to make a video telling you guys about it. I had sort of mentioned it in my April haul video. I was like, you guys, I'm really thinking about a no buy. And I was actually surprised by how many of you guys commented and said, Karen, we fully support you going on a no buy. And I was actually like, that really 
made me feel good about doing it and trying it because trust me when I tell you this, I have zero faith in myself that I can go on a no buy. I've definitely felt tempted in the first five days, that is for sure. And yeah, I, it was just encouraging to see people say like, do it. And I was like, cool, like, you know, and I even posted it on my community tab just to let you guys know that it was happening and some of you said you would join me and just reading your comments was so encouraging and sweet and it honestly meant a lot to me. So yeah, like I had mentioned, I'm on day five. I started my no buy on May 7th, so my no buy will end on June 7th. Technically is what I planned because I did shop on the Sephora sale, I did end up buying the Natasha Denona star palette <laughs> on the last day of the Sephora sale, but I felt like it was a good purchase because I've really been liking Natasha Denona palettes recently because I feel like she's finally like gotten a consistent formula that's good, that isn't like crumbly like some of her first formulas that I tried. So I thought, let me get the star palette and then it was 20% off plus my Ebates, Ebates money came in and I used it to get a Sephora gift card. So I got a really decent price on a Natasha Denona palette and I was happy with that. So that was the last thing I bought before my no buy started. And I also did cave and pre-order the taco palette from Glam Light because I actually got the burger palette from them. And it's actually, you guys, I want to do a video on this obviously, but other than the fact that the packaging is obnoxious this is a really good palette like really good palette formula I should have palette formula so I really like that but anyway back to the no buy felt like I just needed it I have so many things to review for you guys I honestly could just not buy makeup for the rest of the year and still have content to create probably some palettes you don't even want to see anymore but I just I just needed it and I need to be able to look at a palette and say, mm, you know what, that's just not for me. Or, you know what, it looks so much like this other palette I have. Or, you know what, I have eight palettes that are not touched and you guys don't even know I have them. So I'm um, just trying to pace myself so I don't like burn out. And also like I had mentioned in another video I think that there's a few things I want to save up for this year. We have a wedding to go to in Arizona and then I got to go to the bachelorette party in Nashville. I don't want to be like poor <laughs> when I go on these trips. I want to have enough spending money and I've already started thinking about 2020 because I know I'll be in Vegas for work again in 2020. So my Louis Vuitton brain is spinning like I need to start saving for a bag again. And uh, yeah, I told my husband this morning, I was like, okay, can you pay like this amount and then I'll save up this amount and that can be my birthday present. <laughs> and he agreed. So just so you guys know, that agreement has already been forged. And yeah, just I just have like goals. And so I'm excited for that. And I'm honestly just excited that I did this. And I like the fact that I made it five days is like shocking to me. It's given me time to play with the makeup I have. I spent more time when I had spare time playing and swatching. So that was really fun. I think now I'll have more time to enjoy the stuff I have. I want to do like follow ups on the hauls I've done. So I have a lot of content to catch up on. And yeah, I just feel like I, you know, was like, you know what, I really want to try out all of my foundations in a short span of time and really narrow it down because there are some foundations I just have for the sake of having and I really just want to find like my top two, three, four favorite foundations and just be done with the rest of them. Either donate or give them to my mom while she's here or whatever. So that's an idea that's come up. I wanted to knock out my singles eyeshadow palette collection so I can make my dream like green palette and um, so I'm excited for that. So there's a lot of like exciting stuff planned. Also, I pre-ordered the taco palette. So when I get that, I can film on that. And then I didn't plan on being on my no buy till June 7th when I decided this, but I think I'm going to, I'm going to buy the olive palette. So 
You guys can judge me all you want, but that, that was supposed to be my reward for my no buy being done uh, at the end of May. But since I wanted to like be a badass, I did decide to go on the 7th. So I think I'll give myself like a break on the 1st. We'll discuss that in a upcoming video. But yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys it's official. I'm on a no buy. So if you want to see me whine about makeup on Instagram, that's where you're going to want to find me. Also, I have to tell this story. I got so much great feedback from you guys because I shared this about how I wanted the Juvia's... Well, I didn't even want the new Juvia's Place palette. It's just like the YouTuber in me or whatever. The Goblin as Nisi Nisi Pisa, I don't know how to say her name, says, Nisa says, she says we all have a little makeup goblin and my makeup goblin is like, Juvia's Place, like hello. And when I saw it, I was just like, oh, that looks like the Nubian palette. Like who asked for that? Nobody asked for that. And so I was like, oh, I should just get it, review it. Like it's a Juvia's Place palette. And I was like, no, no, you made this mistake with the Warrior palette. You bought it because everyone else bought it and you don't even like that palette. So I said no to it and I said no to the matte warrior. Is it the warrior palette? The tribe palette? I can't keep up. The all matte palette they came out with recently with the neutrals. I said no to that. And then every once in a while, the makeup goblin's like, just buy the matte palette, which I might do if I get a really good deal. And then with this new one that came out, I was like, I saw Trend Mood posted that it was back in stock. And I was like, let me just, just buy it, whatever. So I went to the website, added it to the cart, and I'm like, I really don't want to pay 20 bucks for this palette. I just don't. Like, I know it's going to be on sale in, like, a week or two. I can just, like, wait. I'm going to be fine. So I closed my browser and went about my day, and I shared that story on my Instagram. A lot of you were just, like, just, like, kudosing me, and that was really great. So... I know some of you are on this Know My Journey with me and I just wanted to make a little announcement video and tell you guys about that and then that's it. Hopefully this is a quick little one. I just wanted to post and say hi, give you guys some updates and I hope you all are doing great. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one soon. Bye guys!